This past April, we launched the Galaxy S6 and recently introduced Gear VR for the Galaxy S6 and Galaxy S6 Edge. Galaxy S6 is the most powerful handset we've ever released. It's the highest pixel density of any Galaxy phone, which enables an even better VR experience for consumers. So Gear VR combined with the Galaxy Note 4, Galaxy S6, and Galaxy S6 Edge make virtual reality a possibility for millions of people. So now that we've discussed hardware, let's get on to the fun part, 360 content. So this past January at CES, we officially launched Samsung's Milk VR, a virtual reality content service exclusive to Gear VR, which offers premium, immersive 360-degree videos delivered on a daily basis. Our aim is for consumers to build a daily habit in virtual reality. And we try to foster this habit by offering a steady stream of the latest in pre uh, excuse me, of the latest and premium immersive 360 degree content across multiple categories, including music, fashion, action, and sports. And one of the main sort of overarching themes in our content strategy for Samsung's Milk VR is providing consumers with inside access to unexplored worlds. Refinery29's fashionably bound series has been able to achieve both. So now let's focus on why it made sense for Samsung to partner with Refinery29 on virtual reality content. The team at Samsung was truly inspired by Refinery29's vision that virtual reality can be for everyone. Refinery29 was extremely passionate about creating premium VR experiences, and that's exactly the type of content that we're trying to offer consumers via Samsung's Milk VR. Refinery29 was able to expand VR to an entirely new audience with their lifestyle, fashion, and travel-focused content. Fashionably Bound is a fantastic example of 360 content made right, and we couldn't be more thrilled with our partnership. And I missed a couple slides, by the way. <laughs> mm -hmm. So there you can see on the, um, I believe, far left, excuse me, far right, that's the Galaxy Note 4. Galaxy S6 is in the middle, and Gear VR is all the way to your left. Immersive content experience. Bam. So with that. It's awesome. This is the baton being I will passed. hand the baton. I love it. Thanks, Melissa. Jim. Thanks. Um, many of you in this room are familiar with Refinery29, R29, and you know probably that we started out as a style-focused site on the web, and now we're so much more. What's important, and every time we actually go out and bring audiences, even trade audiences like this, inside to really experience refinery, we always want to focus on our mission, and that is to be the new media company for this generation of women globally. What we're doing is we are recategorizing the word style to actually mean confidence and individuality. And that means taking style literally out of the closet and making it something that's tangible and accessible to millennial and millennial-minded women everywhere. That's why we are so excited and passionate about this relationship with Samsung, especially in their innovative areas like VR. We think that this is such a defining experience to be able to share with our audience, uh, with a company that truly believes that technology isn't just for geeks and gamers, that now technology is really about the consumer marketplace that's there. And so much of the change in the way that tech is marketed has turned from inside out to outside in, letting the marketplace actually collaborate with technology makers to create whole new experiences for a whole new generation around the world. When we look at refinery, there's a whole bunch of opportunity in our content narrative. I want to talk about where virtual reality sits almost in the pyramid of how we think about content. Refinery is a content maker. That's what we make. And we do it in a way that's very 24-7 focused. We're actually pushing out over 100 pieces of content daily. 
and it comes in multiple forms. Right? It's multiple articles. We're talking a velocity of now almost 2,000 individual articles published a month. She just can't get enough. And no matter how much we've grown in audience size, now we reach one out of every two millennial women in the US. What's amazing is her appetite for this conversation is bound less because our time spent has only increased with this trajectory of audience growth. What's also incredible is imagery and the way women are looked at is very important to us. We have relationships not only with key partners like Samsung, but with Getty Images. We want to change the conversation in the way women are portrayed and seen in media and marketing. The third, of course, starts to get to the apex. This has been a huge focus of growth this year as we expand even internationally. And that is how much video we're making. And these are videos that range from tutorials, all the how-tos, so our woman is truly empowered, to entertainment, to inspiration. And what's incredible for us as very vigilant content makers is virtual reality sits at the very top of inspiration. It is there to inspire and unleash this woman into a whole new world that she's so curious about and she can't get enough of. Recently, actually as recent as last week, we debuted our new research in a series that we call Her Brain on Digital, or HBOD, inside the world of the millennial-minded woman. This is where we take our relationship from the digital world into the offline world, the physical world, where we go into the homes of dozens and dozens of women across the country so we could do focus groups or friendship circles to get to know her better. And what we found when we kicked this off last year and got to know her core values, that technology was playing such an incredible part of her life. It was filling the white space of creativity like never before. So we decided this year when we did HBOD2 that we were going to make the entire series, the entire research study this year, all about the role that technology plays in enabling today's woman. And what we found over and over again, the theme is about love. This woman is not just in love with technology, she's in lust with it. We're talking, they consider, from this research that we just fielded, they consider themselves today's power technology consumers. They have to have the latest and greatest. They embrace technology. They consider themselves early adopters, and they must have the best that the marketplace has to offer to fill these creative white spaces, to learn and develop, to connect with people that she adores and loves, creating new communities, and of course, our favorite, to up her shopping game. So it is so important that we in this room who know this, because we live it every day, that we help change the perception that women truly are technology power consumers. And we are so grateful for Samsung for seeing this early and really embracing the kind of content that we can bring to market.